girls to love me so I can touch them. Well, that's straightforward. I wanted to be a pro so I'd be popular with the girls. I thought they'd fall in love with me once I became a real hero. Damn it. I thought it'd make me cool. A short and incredibly perverted boy, something he openly admits, with the ability to generate sticky balls from his body. His quirk, pop off, causes these balls to manifest on his head, and their stickiness depends on his bodily processes, but if he produces them and rips them off his scalp too quickly, his skin will start to tear apart and cause him to bleed. Despite having earned admittance into UA, he doesn't feel that he'll be able to be a hero because of his odd quirk. Appearance Minoru's appearance is very odd to say at the least. He has a very short stature of 108 centimeters, 3 feet 6 inches, which is about the same height as a small child. His resting face comes off as dim-witted and comedic, with large eyes and black irises. He also has black and purple hair that looks like a small bundle of large grapes in the form of a misshapen mohawk. Moving on to Minoru's hero costume, it's yet again odd yet simple. This form of attire consists of a tight purple jumpsuit that matches his hair, and same goes for the mask that covers his entire face except for his eyes and mouth area. More articles of clothing are yellow gloves, yellow boots, a yellow cape, and a white and purple diaper-like pair of pants. Personality Minoru has a negative profile among the female students at UA for being known as a pervert. He enjoys boobs, breasts, milk jugs, whatever you want to call it. We all love it but he expresses his fondness for it a lot more. <laughs> Where are you going, grape juice? The gate's the other way. Daryl, you bastard! I'll never forgive you for getting to be in her lap! It could have been me! He is also sometimes seen staring at the boobs of female students and or attempting to touch them. Along with being a pervert, he is also very timid when in danger. Being ashamed of his ways, he has no trouble showing that he is, but tries his best to help out fellow teammates with his very odd quirk. He easily freaks out in moments of great stress or fear, acting in an impulsive way, crying when the situation does not look favorable and abusing his quirk recklessly, to the point of hurting himself in the process. He is quite unashamed of those traits, openly admitting them out loud. He has a habit of rubbing salt on people's wounds, both accidentally and intentionally. Despite all of this, Minoru is shown to actually be surprisingly intelligent, able to score very high on tests, and being in the top half of Class 1A's grades, despite being considered a slacker by the majority of the class. Additionally, he is quite capable of coming up with creative and competent strategies in order to achieve victory, as seen when he fought against Midnight. He's capable of growing from his previous experiences and becoming braver. He also seems capable of deceiving even a pro hero like Midnight to help succeed with his plans. I lured you this far out here so I'd have a shot at escaping. This was all a part of my plan to win and prove that I'm actually cool! He's capable of pushing through his flaws when the need arises. Minoru has demonstrated loyalty to his classmates. To complete final exams either he or Hanta could escape from midnight and both would pass as a team, but after incapacitating her, Minoru took the time to drag his unconscious partner with him to escape together. Thanks to me, we'll live to see boobs another day! Abilities His quirk, pop-off allows him to produce extremely sticky spheres from his head, which he can then use as projectiles, with a new sphere growing in place of the removed one in seconds. The spheres are able to stick to surfaces, with the exception of Minoru himself, who causes the spheres to bounce him away. Minoru can use the specific property of his quirk for mobility purposes, like using the spheres as trampolines or as a tool for wall climbing. Depending on his health level, their stickiness may last the whole day. If he removes too many spheres from his head in quick succession, he will begin to bleed meaning he could potentially die of blood loss if he overuses his quirk. The list Number 1 He is the number 19 in class 1A. 
who ranked 19th on Shota Ozawa's quirk apprehension test. Though he ranked last on the two, on overall Class 1A grades, he is ranked as number 9. Number 2. His quirk is named Pop-Off or Moji Moji. The name, Moji Moji, is based on Meiji Moji Moji Fruits Gummy Candy, an actual Japanese snack. Number 3. His stats list him as one of the smartest kids in the class, but he got 9th place in their midterm scores, and was strangely proud to barely be in the top half. Number 4. Minoru's name contains the kanji for great fertility. And berry. The word Minoru means to bear fruit, and is written with the same kanji in his name. Number 5. Outside of Bakugo, Minoru is probably the class 1A student that nobody likes, mostly due to his perverted personality. He is still good friends with Midoriya and Kaminari, at least. Well, I'm sure you already know since you're like a class rep, but they said all the girls have to wear those uniforms for the big cheer battle this afternoon. Ah, that's odd. <sighs> Why is it that I always end up falling for that little pervert stupid schemes? Number 6. On the first character popularity poll he ranked 18th, while on the second poll he goes down to 31st. Number 7. His small stature, weak frame, ridiculous power set, and constant whining might make it seem like Mineta is just a useless comic relief character, but many opponents who have underestimated him have found themselves utterly defeated by his clever application of powers, and his surprising tenacity when pushed into action. Number 8. His power ratings are as follows, Power, E, Speed, E, Technique, B, Intelligence, A, Cooperativeness, B. Number 9. Mineta's attempt to spy on the girls in their locker room actually kind of worked. Jero's earphones are shown to be extremely sensitive, and she plays with them constantly. Her stabbing Mineta in the eye was actually a moment of extremely intimate contact, just not in the way he was hoping for. Number 10. On his early design, he was supposed to have a slingshot in his head on his hero costume, possibly to help him throw his quirk. Number 11. His voice actor is Reo Hiruhashi, who also voiced Maruko in Bakugan Battle Brawlers, Susumu Sasaki in Gundam Build Fighters and Antonio in Romeo x Juliet to name a few. Number 12. Horikoshi has stated many times that he loves Maneda, both to draw him and as a character, but he also isn't completely blind to the fact the fandom hates him. He spent the USJ and final exam arcs trying to make Maneda more likable to fans, which felt like hogging screen time to many, but ultimately, he got the hint and removed him from the spotlight almost completely. However, Maneda is still a recurring comic relief that appears to make the very sexual jokes that made everyone hate him to begin with, fans still hate him and desperately desire for him to leave 1A, and be substituted in the class by the much more beloved Shinso, which doesn't seem to be something Horikoshi is willing to do. Number 13. His voice actress is Brina Michelle Palencia, who also voiced Shazu in Dragon Ball Z Kai. Tony Tony Chopper in One Piece and Taoka in Tokyo Ghoul to name a few. Number 14. Some fans feel that Maneda, the resident Scrappy, had potential to be an interesting character due to his unique quirk, distinct design, and self-esteem issues, and are disappointed that Horikoshi only put more emphasis on his perversion and jerk-ass behavior, but has yet to expand on his non-pervert traits. His own character bio says that he's the second smartest person in 1A, but we've never seen any hinting of that, or why he wants to become a hero in the first place, when his two biggest character traits are pervert and coward. To know more about My Hero Academia, please visit the wiki page.